Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. If you happen to be new, my name's Denasia. Up under here is Adira and welcome to our channel. So as you see in the title, today I'm going to be doing another playing in products video. I don't necessarily like to call them product reviews because it's not a formal review. It's just something I picked up while I was out. I'm trying it out and letting you know what I think along the way. So I'm going to be trying out two of the Camille Rose products, which surprisingly, I have never tried anything from this line ever in my life or in my natural hair years okay so I'm actually pretty excited about it so from what I've seen on YouTube and the few videos that I have seen um, the curl maker has been reviewed by a lot of people I've seen a lot of really mixed reviews on this but I'm kind of looking at the texture of it and just looking at how it reacted on other people's hair on YouTube and I think this is gonna give me a lighter ish hold at least it's going to be lighter than the pattern beauty and then I also picked up the hair milk or curl love moisture milk and I'm really excited to try this as another kind of lighter product but that's still moisturizing so that's really what I'm going for is a semi-defined very moisturizing light bouncy whatever kind of wash and go <sighs> that was a mouthful but that's the deal if you're interested in seeing how I feel about these products, how they look on my hair, then that's coming up next and keep watching. No, I don't wanna collab, no, unless I hit you up. So, my hair is still damp. Um, I redid my color last night, deep conditioned, all day and I rinsed it out and just put my microfiber towel on my head while I was running my mouth for the intro. So I'm going to be doing a basic wash and go. I'm probably going to be doing medium sections <laughs> as far as applying the products and defining my curls. Uh, my hair is probably less detangled than what I'm used to because I sat with the deep conditioner in my hair all day just in a ponytail and then I rinsed it out. So when I'm doing things like this, especially trying new products, I like to show you how my hair looks with each step. Now I'm only using two products which is not normal for me. I'm one of those people that really layers their products on but because I'm going for that lighter more voluminous less defined even though it's going to still be defined kind of wash and go I won't be layering up today. Now the ends of my hair are already dry. The roots of my hair are still damp so I'm going to stop running my mouth and get started. So the first product is going to be the Curl Love moisture milk and I'm really excited about the ingredients in this everything looks like they're all ingredients that I know that my hair loves now when we get to the curl maker I'm a little curious because one of the main ingredients is coconut oil or coconut something and my hair typically does not respond very well to coconut oil but that's just me this smells amazing Smells like cake batter. I don't know. Smells like, I don't know. Reminds me of cake. It smells good though. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I am used to applying a leave in conditioner first and not going in with like my moisturizer first. So it's a little bit of a different feeling. Um, I, it doesn't feel like it's melting in the second I put it on my hair, but as I work it in, it's definitely melting in, and you can see my curls kind of start to form. So that's good. I can tell it's moisturizing. I'm just not used to doing my hair this way. And I think this is a lot thicker than I was expecting it to be, which makes me happy considering I'm not layering my products the same way that I normally would. Okay, so here is my first section with just the moisture milk. Curl Love Moisture Milk. <laughs> and that's how we're looking. Hmm. Pretty good. Step two. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Curl Maker. It has marshmallow, um, marshmallow, but I'm pretty sure it's like marshmallow root. 
I know that that ingredient period comes from an herb and typically has a lot of slip. So I'm expecting this to have a lot of slip. Ooh, they like don't smell the same. I was expect, I mean, they kind of do, but interesting. And it's like very jelly. Like if you've ever used like flaxseed gel, it kind of reminds me of that, but not quite. But if it has that marshmallow root in it, then I'm sure that's why. So we are gonna apply this. This is also a little bit thick. Oh, oh. oh girl. Wow. That took me by surprise. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to do a lot more work than what I just did. And look at that. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I am very curious about how it dries because it's very slippery, which I expected. It also feels pretty moisturizing, but it's kind of hard to tell. And my curls are already shrinking. So my hair likes it. That took no work. I'm excited. Okay, let's do another section. <laughs> okay, second section. I'm gonna do this in kind of a bigger section now that I kind of know how the product works. So this is my hair with no product. I'm using about this much. I was not expecting this to be this thick. I like it, but I, I just, I don't know, when I hear curl milk or hair milk, I just always assume it's gonna be more watery. Okay. And this is my hair with just the moisture milk. Okay, and now the curl maker. Two pumps. <laughs> which is more than enough. I probably could get away with one. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now my roots are definitely gonna be puffy. I'm okay with that because that's gonna give me volume. I did not purposely wear a purple shirt and put purple in my background right there. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> So let me turn around and let you see this back section. We're not gonna talk about my terrible color job, we know. I got hot roots, okay? Gosh. Okay, so that's how my hair looks. Feels incredibly slick <laughs> and still defined. I am getting quite a bit of shrinkage, so I just know now that I'm gonna have to do some stretching. If you're not familiar with my wash and go, as I do it, I like to clip or use a satin ponytail holder on my hair, just like this, in each section. And that just keeps my hair from shrinking at the root. And it just, it's just less work for me when it comes to stretching my dry hair. So what I'm gonna do is finish the rest of my head, come back with my hair done wet, let you know what I'm thinking, and then we'll dry it and style it and do all that good stuff. I'll be back in a sec. All right, y'all, so I am at my last section, and to save you and me some time, I'm going to go ahead and let you know my thoughts while I finish off this last section on the top of my head. So overall, I do like it. Um, the curl milk or what, what is this called the moisture milk being that it's like thicker than I was expecting and that my hair is kind of drying um, it doesn't spread as easily as I would want it to but once I do get it in there and my hair starts to drink it up it feels really good smells even better <laughs> so I do like it I don't know how much I love it but we'll see how I feel about it after it dries and as far as the curl maker, she does just that. <laughs> she gets your curls all the way together. But I am not but. 
and but however I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna dry like I just can't get a gauge on how my hair is gonna feel what the texture is gonna be like how defined or voluminous it's gonna be because it's this weird thing where my curls are clumped but it's so lightweight that I'm just like how are my curls clumped this well with it not feeling like anything and it's so slippery that that's all I can really focus on is the fact that it's slippery and I just I just don't know I have no idea um I'm watching my hair hair <laughs> I'm watching my hair kind of revert and I really like the form of my curls I like the way that they look so if they dry like that I'll be happy but I'm just wondering like how voluminous it's going to be or how strong the hold is going to be after I break the cast. I don't want to call it a gel cast because this is like a jelly. It's like a jelly cast. <laughs> so I have officially applied it all over my head. I'm going to take my clips out. My hair has just been like back here in little clips. I'm going to take those out shake it to clump my curls and possibly lay my like front and part a little bit better it smells so good <laughs> so look at that like she looks amazing used about one and a half to two pumps of the curl maker on each section this piece of hair is driving me crazy and i'm two seconds away from cutting it also this damaged piece right here i want to cut it but it's so far up that i don't want to cut it okay so let me stand up i just want to give you guys a good look at my hair wet So the two things that I am most curious about, um, how the hold is going to be once it's dry and how moisturizing it's going to be once it's dry. I'm feeling my hands. I always do this and I really like the way that it feels like I can feel the moisturization that's in the products. Um, so I think it's going to feel good on my hair. It's just a matter of seeing it to believe it. So I will let my hair air dry while I'm kind of like around the house. Tonight it's 8.19. I'll probably be in bed in the next two hours. Um, I'm just going to pineapple my hair probably in two ponytails or one ponytail on top of my head. And I'll come to you when it is time to take it down, style it. Excuse me. Wow, sorry. <laughs> I'll be back when it's time to take it down and see the final results. Y'all, so quick voiceover moment because I was actually in a meeting for work. I had another meeting coming after this where I needed to be on camera, but I didn't want y'all to miss the takedown. So I slept with my hair in a pineapple. It dried about 90%. My roots were still damp, but I really liked the way that my curls held. It had a nice strong hold, but it was still really soft. There was a slight cast on it that I needed to break. So me moving my hair and running my hands down my hair is just me breaking that kind of jelly cast without disturbing my curl pattern and it worked great now because my roots were still damp I put my hair in two stretched ponytails for about 10 minutes I took a blow dryer to it for maybe 45 seconds before I took my hair down for the day and that's coming up next but I wanted you to see how I continued to stretch my hair um, the morning after what you previously saw all right, hi friends. So I had to close out this video in my living room because it is 6.50 and at this time, the lighting in my room is just pink because of my curtains and I didn't want that. But I needed to show you my finished results. I took my hair out around two, 12, I don't remember. Earlier today, I took my hair out, fluffed it out, and it's been out for hours. So this is its true form, and these results are just, 
like mm, it is almost exactly what I wanted I would like to have a little bit more moisture not that my hair is not moisturized but I am medium to high porosity probably more to the high porosity side now that I've bleached and colored my hair but I know that I'm gonna have to moisturize my hair in about a day and a half um, versus when I layer my products the moisturization lasts Lasses, wow, okay, education. When I layer my products, my moisture lasts throughout almost the whole week without me having to reapply. But I know I'm gonna have to reapply with this, but as for having voluminous, bouncy, lightweight, and still defined curls on day one, this is it. This is definitely it. And I am extremely happy. And my color looks good, and the curls look good. And I, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. So I definitely am gonna give these two products a thumbs up. I'm really excited to play with them more. Um, maybe using a leave-in conditioner. I'm trying not to buy any more products. I'm trying to narrow my collection down, not build it back up. But I'm really curious about trying some more of the Camille Rose products now that I've tried these two. So we'll see about that. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you like the results. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave them down in the comment box below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I did do a reel with like the finished look of this with some other, whatever. I did a reel and it's real cute, so go look at it. <laughs> But anywho, don't forget to check in, subscribe with yourself before you subscribe to me or anybody else. But if you're good and you're good, go ahead and hit like and subscribe on my video as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.